Okay guys, welcome back. I've got the Tello once again and I've updated it to the latest version which is version 1.11. Now last time I um, I made a, my last video with the Wi-Fi extender, that was version 1.06. So in the last couple of weeks they've updated it quite a bit. I think they up <laughs> the developer updates it probably about two or three times a week. So the latest version is uh, V1.11. So if you own this uh, app, uh, go to your Play Store and update it there. All right. So it's got a couple of new features here I wanted to test out. I've got my Wi-Fi repeater ahead of me uh, on the field over there. I don't know if you can see the little white speck there. So um, I'm just going to go through and test out this new update. Okay, so some of the features that are in this update are the up and away, um, which I'll, I'll show you in a second. I'll, first I'll take off. That looks like the GameSir controller is disconnected because it turned itself off. Okay, can we get, we've got connection again. Okay, alright, so we're in video mode. The controller has a standby mode. So anyway, um, I'll turn around and as you can see, I've got a selfie shot of myself. It's a little bit windy here, guys. See, up and away mode, you can adjust the parameters for your droney shots. I'll make it 13 meters. The speed I'll keep the same. I'll leave the timer on about 10 seconds or 9 seconds, 10 seconds. All right, so I'll get a bit closer and we'll click OK. All right, so it's taking an eight second countdown before it does it. See ya. Now it's going back. As you can see, it is counting down the distance away and the pitch angle speed. So that's another new feature. You can adjust the parameters of the droney shot up and away. So it's finished doing that. Now point of interest, uh, see, I think they, they've done the point of interest as well. Yeah, lock of point of interest is two meters, so I have to go back to where I started, change it to sports mode. I'm going to get out of that. Now I can control it, all right, so I'm just stuck in that mode. So what, maybe what I'll do, I'll uh, take it over this way a bit. And I'll try it from here. Let's see if that works. A bit too, uh, can I get closer to it? It says taking the home point value. So what I'll do, I'll land it. I've got to take off again because it is taking the value of when it took off. So it was reading 14 minutes, which was incorrect. Take it up a bit. Now we'll try it again. I'm 0.2 meters away, so I'll take that back. We'll make it three meters now it should work so if I set this to three meters it should start doing the point of interest oh, I deactivated it So 
you go, you, all you do is just roll, and I'm out of <laughs> I'm out of the shot here. I think I can take it back and do it again. So there you go. I've done this in the last video. You see I'm going rather quickly and it's keeping me in the shot. Alright. Now you with the um I'll just get out of that. With the uh, let's see video and photos, where was it? I saw it somewhere. You can adjust the yeah in here. You can adjust the um, the number of photos for the panoramic 360 mode, as you can see there. So you can adjust it to t take uh, 12 photos, up to 16 photos, or down to seven. So I might test that out while I got some battery life. I might get it to take 12 photos. That's another new feature. So I'm going to take it up. It's going to be a bit windy, but we'll take it up to about there, and we'll try it. Got a countdown as well. It's actually taking video this time. All right, that's the video 360. Okay, I thought it was taking the panoramic photos. I'm gonna have to change it into photo mode, I guess. So I might stop that recording. Change to there we go. And it should be trying to do twelve photos because that's what I chose. Get out of that, that's not gonna work out. It's too windy. Alright. Now I noticed in the settings there's also a gravity calibration mode. I didn't notice this before if it was on the app, but this is a gravity calibration will recalibrate the motor characteristics. Please hover in place for 15 seconds till the purple uh, LED goes off. So you can see that there, but it's got a purple LED on. Take the hat cam off. Purple LED. And then it's finished calibration because it's uh, flashing green again. All right. So let's go for a bit of a flight on this rather windy day. <laughs> I'll put it in video mode and do some FPV. Let me take some actual video. And you can control the video by pressing the buttons on the controller too. They're all key mapped. Battery's getting low. Come on, let's get a field goal before the battery gets low. 